your shark. Pull out. Okay? All together, F to B flat. Ready, go. Okay, come on. Match, match. Listen, listen. Ready, go. That's better. That's better. Now, boo, do, 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 and one, two, ready, go. That's the idea. Okay, F to B flat again. Ready, go. Good. I don't know where the clock is here, but it's way up there where I can't see it. I think it's almost 7 o'clock. Okay, I'm ready. Right Good. 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 From Luke 2, verses 10 through 14. But the angel said to them, do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a babe wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth, peace to those with whom his favor rests. Good evening, and welcome to tonight's Christmas concert. I am Martin Weens, the principal of Doc Mennonite Academy's high school campus. We are grateful you are here this evening as we all prepare to celebrate the birth of the Christ child. I know that the students, along with directors Emily Grimes, Ann Adderman, and Alan Sugart, have worked hard to prepare for you this evening. As we begin, would you pray with me, please? Our loving God, Create in us hearts that are filled with joy and not fear. May the good news of the birth of your son create in us the desire to celebrate you and your gifts in ways pleasing to you. God, create in our students, our sons, our daughters, the desire to seek you, the desire to walk with you, and the desire to authentically live out your calling for their lives. Create in us all hearts that are humble and ready to serve all those around us, just as your son showed us to do. And tonight, may our music praise you. And all of God's people said, Amen.
Thank you. It's been uh, a real neat fall season preparing some of these songs, and it's been really nice to work with uh, the faculty here at DOC and uh, the administration and, of course, the students. And I have to tell you, you're going to see uh, in the next uh, transition that we make, uh, there's about eight young men that have been really helping a lot to make this transition. And I know Ms. Grimes and Mrs. Adderman would be pleased if I announced their name. They've been working so hard this week to help us with the transition. So I'd like to recognize our stage crew, uh, Ben Lair and Braden Landis and Evan Mong, Jesse Mong, Jonathan Anderson, Matt Hayden, Ryan Kratz, and Adam Choi. They have helped move the risers and the stands. They've done a great job this week. And when you, see, when you see the amount of work they're going to do to move the choir up and so forth, it's, it's really greatly appreciated. As all of the people who, who really make the, the concert uh, possible, but uh, they put a lot of extra effort in. And there's so much great music that we all can do, and there's so little time. So um, the, that's sort of the reason I chose the very last song that we're, we're going to do this evening. It's called 20 Carols in Two Minutes because there's so many great Christmas carols, and I hope you get a chance to experience more music than what you're just going to hear tonight. And um, so I asked Mr. Weens if he would help us tonight because I know we're on a, we're on a schedule. And Mr. Weens, would you come up here and... Uh, I brought my stopwatch here. Yeah, you're going to have to come up here because the, the tubas are just, you know, they're hogging the stage over there. And I, we got this stopwatch here because I want to do 20 carols in two minutes or Miss Grimes is going to say, Mr. Sugar, you took too much time this evening. So this is the stopwatch. This is how you, you, you know how to you, you know how to do the stopwatch. Okay. So 20 carols in two minutes. Do you think we can do it? Yeah. All right. Here we go. When you hear the first note, and when you, the last note is done, you got to hit the You know what to do? He's, he's I think, okay. There we go. Oh, he got it. All right, here we go. Ready? One minute, 54 seconds, and 93 one hundredths. Too fast. All right. All right. We will clear the stage for the orchestra. All right. change the stage. Number 212, O Come All Ye Faithful.
Thanks for your patience during the stage change tonight. Uh, I hope you enjoy singing Christmas carols. Um, the first piece that we played was actually not a Christmas piece, but it's a real string orchestra piece, and I want to make sure that uh, these students get a chance to play unarranged music that is really written for this ensemble. I think they did a great job. Um, the next two pieces are Christmas songs, so I hope you enjoy singing along or listening to these.
Good evening. I'm Conrad Schwarzenschuber, Superintendent at DOC. And while we transition to the next segment of our concert, I want to just take a moment to invite you to join us for light refreshments immediately following the concert. It will be in the cafeteria area just uh, behind where you are seated. There are lots of reasons to have food this time of year, but we have a special celebration, the reason we're sharing uh, food with you this evening. At the end of the summer, we heard officially that we were reaccredited by both Advanced Ed, which is a secular accrediting body for private and public schools, and the Mennonite Education Agency, which is an accrediting body as well that looks primarily at our faith perspective and how we infuse faith uh, throughout our, our school system. So this accreditation process took uh, most of a year of internal reflection. So last year, Dr. Sharon Franzen, our Assistant Superintendent of Curriculum and Instruction, led a very intensive process here at our school. We conducted surveys of stakeholders. Many of you filled out those surveys, thank you. We reviewed that data. We reflected on things we were doing well and noted areas in which we would like to improve. And then last spring, five external educators came and spent several days on our campus. They interviewed a lot of people. They had lots of conversations. They were in our teachers' classrooms and they reviewed all the documents and the data that we had collected. And based on this review, Advance Ed and MEA offered affirmation for many things we were doing well and suggestions for areas of focus for improvement. And both Advance Ed and MEA granted a five-year renewal of our accreditation, something that's extremely important to a school like ours. The visiting team concluded one of their final statements, we're confident that this school will continue to positively impact the lives of students and families through faith-based education for generations to come. And that's our goal and our desire. Internally, we've formed a continuous improvement team that will help guide our improvement process in the coming years. It's our goal to always be in a mode of improvement across our system. And so tonight we want to just celebrate this one step in that process, our accreditation renewal. So you can join us for light refreshments following the concert. At DOC, we highly value community, and I hope that each of you feel like a part of our community this evening already. But just to make sure and to give you a chance to stretch, I'm going to ask you to stand and greet someone near you, particularly if there's someone you don't know. And if you have time, share a uh, Christmas tradition that has been meaningful to you while we prepare for the next segment. So stand and stretch.
ahead and find your seats. We'll continue with the second half of the concert. Good evening, my name is Emily Grimes and I direct the choirs here at Doc Mennonite Academy High School. And this first song, this is the beginning choir, ninth and 10th grade. This first song is in Spanish. You might not recognize the language there. And it's Ryu Ryu Chiu. And if you know Spanish, you know that those are not Spanish words. Ryu Ryu Chiu stands for the sound of the nightingale. The chorus is in Spanish and it just says Ryu Ryu Chiu hear the, the nightingale sing. So I hope you enjoy Ryu Ryu Chiu. Hear the song of peace he brings to every nation, calling all to join, join their hearts in jubilation. No more needless war, no more hunger for the poor. Let the world unite, helping one another more. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you. The women are switching positions because in beginning choir, the women have a chance to sing both soprano and alto for the first few songs. And then for the second few songs, they get to choose which one they want to sing. So all of the women get to have a different experience by singing more than one part. This next piece is called Biddy Bum. piece we need a little Christmas hopefully will inspire you maybe you need a little Christmas and hopefully we can bring it to you this evening
this time invite you to pull out your hymnals and stand joining us in singing Angels We Have Heard on High. It is number 197, Angels We Have Heard on High, number 197. We will sing verses one and two, one and two. a combined 9th through 12th grade choir. This gives the kids a chance to sing with each other rather than in two groups, feel what it's like to sing in a larger choir, and then also help some of the younger students know what it's like when they get older. So I hope you enjoy this piece. It's the classic sleigh ride.
while we transition again, would you stand and join with me? 318, joy to the world. 318, joy to the world.
Thank you. This is a new ensemble. This year it's called Chamber Choir. And it's a smaller, as you can see, a smaller group that meets in the mornings before school. And um, students here are auditioned at a little bit of a higher level. So concert choir is unauditioned for semester, but Chamber Choir is a way to kind of get at a little bit more rigorous music making. This next piece that we're going to sing for you is in Latin and German, and so I'm going to read the translation for you. It's called Solite. Sing your psalms to Christ, the only begotten Son of God. Sing your psalms to the Redeemer. That's the Latin. The German. A small child lies in the manger. All the blessed angels serve him and sing to him. Solite. One more carol for you to join with us this evening, the first Noel, number 199. And again, would you stand and join us in singing the first Noel? We'll just sing verses one and two while the choirs get to places.
This next piece is also in German and Latin, but it also includes an English translation, so listen for those words. Oh, oh, oh. 
Thank you. Again, this is Concert Choir, our unauditioned group of juniors and seniors. All you need to do is sign up to sing with us. This final piece is called Ring the Bells, and I hope you enjoy the spirit of the Fala Laws as much as we do. It's our tradition to invite you all to sing with us on the stage, if you so choose. We always close this concert with the Hallelujah Chorus. So, our administrators will be holding, handing out the copies of Hallelujah Chorus as you come to the stage. Please don't be shy. We would love to have you sing with us for our final number. So, come on down, join us, so that you know the sopranos are over on this side, so the melody. The altos are over on this side. Basses, you're gonna walk up the back two rows. Tenors, the front two rows. Come on down.
people to thank. Um, putting on a concert like this is not easy and I cannot do it on my own. So first I'd like to thank my colleagues uh, Mr. Alan Sugar and Miss Ann Adderman for leading the band and orchestra. And this, year, this concert is Miss Adderman's last concert with us as she'll be moving on to um, spend more time with her growing family. So could we acknowledge those folks? Give them a round of applause. <laughs> A couple of other people I would like to thank. Um, you've noticed um, some of our songs with the choirs have been a cappella, others have been accompanied by piano, and I've been so thrilled to have Miss Karen Dix accompany us, so please give her a round of applause for joining us. A few other folks I'd just like, ooh, ooh. Oh, a few other folks I'd like to acknowledge. Elaine Gaven for helping us with the stage decorations. Rick Dir Dirksen and the facilities for the stage setup, getting all the risers and shells put up. Jay Gordon for helping with the program and for taking pictures this evening. Darwin Zare and Emily Mellinger for doing the lights and sound. Um, and finally, all of DOC faculty who have allowed us to rehearse during class time with lessons and early dismissals for a chapel preview, et cetera. So give these folks a round of applause for their contributions this evening. Without further ado, the Hallelujah Chorus.
our refreshments. Have a wonderful night.